Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to Automation Now New YouTube channel. In this video, we are diving into user-defined data types in Siemens TA portal. I will explain what, what user-defined data types are and why they are important. Then I will show you how to create user-defined data type and use it in your project and even how to export and import user-defined data types to share or use in other projects. Let's get started. What is user-defined data type and why we use it? A uh, user-defined data type in Siemens TA portal is like creating your own custom box where you can store related items together under one name. This makes it easier to keep things organized and manageable. Why we use user-defined data types? Organizations, user-defined data types help you to organize your data more efficiently by grouping related variables together, making your project easier to manage. Then reusability. Once you have created a user-defined data type, you can use it throughout your project or even in other projects. This saves times and reduces error because you don't have to re-enter the same data repeatedly. The next one is consistency. With user-defined data types, any changes you make to the structure of your data will automatically update it everywhere it is used. This ensures consistency across your project. Okay, let's move on to how to create the user-defined data types. I will take you step, uh, step by step through the process of creating user-defined data type, adding your data to it, and then use it in your project. This approach make your program more modular and easier to understand. Okay, let's open the TA portal. Here I already added the PLC device into the project. So you click on the PLC, then scroll down and go to the plc data type click on it double click on add new data type okay here is created name with the user underscore data type one you can name it as you want just right click and rename it I can name it as control underscore parameter. So I just create a control underscore parameter. I name it. Let's say you are working with the multiple tanks in your project. Instead of creating individual variables for each tank, you can create one user defined data type that includes all the elements as a tank typically as yes. then you can easily reuse the user defined data type for all other tanks by simply copy and pasting it normally what would we have in the tank parameters for example in the tank we can have a filling wall so we can say it filling wall and let's go off open Open command. You can say it filling wall or inlet wall. So this the data type should be a boolean. Then what you can have filling wall close command. You can have a close close command. Then you can have a filling wall feedback, open feedback and close feedback. So you can just copy, paste it, copy, paste it. Just change this to feedback, open feedback, close feedback. When the filling open command is given, you can get the open feedback. Close when the filling wall close command is triggered, then you will get the close feedback. Then what else we have in the tanks? We can have a discharge wall, which is outlet wall. Discharge wall underscore open command. That's also the data type is boolean. The next one is uh, discharge wall 
close command then you you may have the feedback for the feedback change to feedback okay so tanks we have a filling wall discharge wall then you will have a mixing motor so you can have a mixing motor underscore start command That's also boolean. Then mixing motto and the score close stop command. Then we can have the feedback for motor running. So change to feedback run feedback underscore feedback and then also we can have a motto trip feedback chip the next what we have in the tank might you might have a level sensor so you can have a, a level sensor underscore sensor the sensor reading should be in a real the data type in real so you can have a really then you can have a temperature sensor temperature sensor you can have a real or you can have it as an integer then the tank you might have a pressure sensor then you can have a data type word or, or you have a real so i just for example i'm just uh, creating a real integer word and then boolean data types now we have computer creating the user defined data type next we'll use these data types in our project for this you need to open the program blocks and then add new block you can create a data block you can name it for example tang tang underscore parameter and oh, click ok now you have a db tank parameter now you can use this for for example if you have a five tanks then you can use the data type for tank one tank underscore one you can click on the data type and you can type in the control parameters here you can see the control parameters here just click it so so the tank uh, tank one is created you can expand it and see all your data's data types are is here so we can use this tank one and then just copy and paste it for just copy and then you can paste here for the tank two so you can see tank two also having the same kind of data types here so for this you can use for any other tanks tank one tank two then you can copy and paste it for tank three as well your yeah, tank three you can have a tank three so this is how you need to create the user defined data type and then you can use it in the project now now we have done creating the user defined data type next i will explain how to export this user defined data types for this you need to go to the plc data types 
click here and then click on the control parameter right click it and then generate source from the blocks select a blocks only now you see control parameters is created and then you have you can store it wherever you want i just click on download and then save so now we have done exporting our user different data type now mm, we will try to use the data type in other user program okay next i will show you how to save the user different data type into the library for the, go to the library you click on the create global library yeah. i just uh, name it as a custom functions you can name it whatever you want just create so you have a custom function library here click here and click on the master copies now you go to our plc data type and then click on the parameter and then drag click drag and drop and do the master now you can see the control parameter is added into the library so you close it you can use it wherever whenever you want now we have completed creating the udt and then we have used the udt in the entire the project also we have exported our udt and then also we have uh, added the udt into the uh, global libraries next one is we have import the uh, udt into the new project okay let's go for this okay save this project next we need to uh, import the user different database from our uh, file so for this you need to click on the external source file and double click on the add new external source file you look out for exported our user different database click on downloads and click on here click on this and click open so now you can see that the control parameter udt is already uh, added to the external source file now you can see here the plc data type there is nothing has been added now you have to extract from this control parameter right click on it and then generate blocks from source click ok and now you can see here the control underscore parameter data type has been added to this project you can double click it for viewing you can see here all the filling wall open command filling on close commands all the data types has been added to the project now you can use these even different data types in your data box to control the tank walls motors and read the sensor value we have covered how to create a udt use it in the project for multiple tanks export the udt add it to the global libraries and finally import the udt into a new project all right that's all for today I hope this video was useful to you all. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I will help you to help with any clarification. Thanks for watching my YouTube videos. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and feel free to suggest topics for future videos.